Well, I promised to record uh, Clinch Mountain Backstep in October, and it is October 31st, Halloween. Uh, I took a long time because I've been moving into a new studio, and it was offered to me a couple weeks ago, and I just uh, had to tear all of my stuff down in my studio in my basement of my home, which looked like uh, the Fred Flintstone decor, and I had to move it. I'm in downtown Wyandotte now at the Arts Center, and it's a beautiful facility, and uh, I'm going to be teaching with some groups and workshops here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be teaching a banjo workshop that'll be coming up uh, November 12th, and that will be from 4 o'clock until 6 o'clock in the evening. And then after that, from uh, 7.30, and I have a concert with my friend Mike Karub. I'll be playing some guitar with him, playing swing cello. I'll also play some banjo and some ukulele, and I'll have a piccolo guitar there that my friend Gary Zimnicki has made. I'll also be doing a guitar workshop from 1 o'clock until 3 o'clock. So uh, if you're around, those uh, workshops are 25 bucks for the workshops. And uh, you also get a, a, for the banjo workshop, you get a DVD of the uh, song Little Maggie. We'll be working on fingerboard theory for the banjo workshop. And uh, we'll also be doing uh, um, some right hand technique. Yeah, but fingerboard theory, learning how to play what you hear in your head work out a melody and then arrange it with uh, some rolls and then we're going to go ahead and do Little Maggie. So basically an improvisation workshop and uh, same thing with the guitar but it's guitar instead. So enough of this stuff we want to get to our lesson. We're going to do Little Maggie or uh, Clinch Mountain Backstep. I've already recorded it tonight but unfortunately I didn't use a capo and as I was loading into YouTube I realized that so here I'm doing it again but I am getting it under the wire. It's still uh, October so uh, we will do a clinch mountain backstep, not like uh, um, Ralph Stanley, unfortunately. Uh, I've never done it that way because I like to do my own versions of, of songs. And uh, Ralph's is kind of unique, and his whole playing style is very mysterious to me. I like it, but um, I don't pick that way. I'm more of an Earl Scruggs type player. I wish I was like Earl Scruggs, of course, but... I, I don't write those songs, but but Ralph wrote a great song with uh, Clinch Mountain Backstep. I, I do it differently. People say, well, if it's so different, you know, you're still calling it Clinch Mountain Backstep. If I were to record the song, I couldn't pretend it was my own. It's close enough uh, still to hear this Clinch Mountain Backstep, except it's a, a different picking pattern. I'm using a forward roll through it instead of the uh, instead of this this clinch. I'm doing a hammer. Roll. So we'll, we'll change things a little bit, but you get the idea. And this, this room sounds like uh, marbles on a tin roof because it's so live. I haven't put up sound deadeners yet, so uh, bear with me there too. So we're going to start off with a little snap of the thumb, first and middle on the fifth, third, and first strings. We're just going to do that to get going. So there we are. Now we're going to take our first finger. We're not counting the frets, we're counting from the, from the capo. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth from the capo. And we're gonna pluck that with our thumb and hammer on to the second string with our ring finger, two frets higher at the eighth fret from the capo. So after that, that's gonna be the beginning of a forward roll with a thumb. Now middle plucks the first and thumb plucks the fifth. So it's thumb, middle, thumb, second, first, fifth. Take the ring finger off and play another forward roll with your first middle thumb. So it's thumb, middle, thumb, first, middle, thumb. But we want that even. And here's something we're going to throw in is a little choke. So. And now after that comes open one with the middle finger. I'm sorry. So it's Hammer one five two one five one. Now we're going to take that first finger and move it down to the first fret, second string, ring finger at the first string, third fret, and do another forward roll. It's going to be two one five. And we're going to choke that ring finger, or you can use your pinky, whichever is easier. I use pinky. So two, one, five, one. First, middle, thumb. 
I hate that. Uh, that might throw my whole thing out of sequence. I've got a, a screensaver that shouldn't be on right now, but it is. So, hammer one five two one five one two one five one. So it's two one five two one five one two one five one. And that's thumb, middle, thumb, first, middle, thumb, middle, first, middle, thumb, middle. And we got a next note coming backwards. So that's a forward roll. Now we're coming backwards. So that's first being plucked with the middle, second being plucked with the first finger, and that's a first fret on the second string. And then third string, third fret, thumb, thumb is plucked. So just do that for a second. Open first, second string, first fret, third string, third fret, and that's middle, first thumb. And we're gonna choke that third string. So, but when we choke it, instead of choking it up, we tuck it down. So, after that choke down, or tug down, comes open one, open three. That's middle thumb. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna have a little uh, practice session, a little practice companion video, and that'll be right underneath that. We're just gonna cycle that part and get that down first. That's uh, the bulk of the song.